Hey everybody, Asher here with Heroes of the Storm, where today we're looking at a replay. I did want to do some live commentary here, but this game I thought was worth sharing for a number of reasons that will hopefully become readily apparent. It's Tomb of the Spider Queen. Not my favorite map of all time, but still the one that we're doing. This is Hero League, like I said. Around mid-30s, although I tend to get people that are in the 20s and the teens in my games as well for whatever reason, but it's me as Kael'thas, then Nova, ETC, Zagara, and Brightwing versus Murky, Zeratul, Lili, Muradin, and Vala. Not 100% the uh, kind of draft you expect here, but the... Uh, the Zagara was a 5 pick, so that's what we have going on here. So we have our initial lane phase, pretty basic, pretty simple. We have uh, Brightwing, and Brightwing versus Zeratul, and uh, our good friend Vala, who has a special skin. I'm sitting here waiting for the lane to push as we have Muradin and uh, Lili just waiting over here, and Murky, whose egg is behind the keep as is per usual. And already a Vala pick off right away. So that is a, a good going on our team here. It doesn't make these guys panic, but they try and get the same pick off over here and just don't have the uh, gumption for it. This uh, roller derby Nova is deciding to try and one-on-one -on -one Muradin, which is not the person that you want to be trying to one-on-one -on -one here. So I see this and I think, can I help her? Can I help her? She's out okay. So she got blinded, but she's still out all right. So like I said, my goal here early on in the game is really just to try and harass with my W. And the talents that I did take, and I do apologize for not getting the uh, overlay up here, so we'll just go over this now here. I did go ahead and take Fell Infusion first. I'm finding that I like that more and more, especially when I'm in situations like this where I have to do some of my own healing. So I'm taking uh, Fell Infusion, and then my level 4 talent is going to be the one that buffs Gravity Lapse. It does hurt my late game damage slightly, but it doesn't penalize me as much if I get ganked or killed and I lose my gathering power stacks. And it keeps me more alive, and it's a lot easier to do damage when you're alive. So there's Zeratul almost getting picked off again. Four team members. Right around here. Three, excuse me. I can't count. And we have ETC versus Murky down here, and... ETC always able to self-heal very well. My goal up here is like I see the excitement going on down here, but I really just want to soak the top lane. And one thing that I've come to find as I play more Hero League is Hero League doesn't necessarily mean better players, especially at the MMR that I'm at right now as Zagara dies, which is a little sad, but that especially means that now someone's going to be coming back up here to my lane. But like I said, Hero League doesn't necessarily mean better players, and I'll be honest, I'm not always the greatest player of all time either, and I'm happy to share videos like that as well. But what we do have is sometimes you just got to work within the team and what you have and try your best not to rage at each other or something that had to me last night where people start shouting at each other that they're going to report each other for uh, throwing the game. That's that's some League of Legends style bull whatever. Bull! As it were as I see Zeratul sneaking up behind me. Zeratul not going for the gank or is he? There we go. So gravity laps any day now. There we go. That is my one good way to get away as this Nova is getting very very excited. Fortunately I have not too much time on this left, but as long as I can stay out of the sight, not have Zeratul come after me too much. He's going to try again here in just a second. And no, you cannot see the little heal things going on as he's right there. But I'm staying very close to my fence. I don't want to push this out too far because the Zeratul is just lurking waiting. I do have seven gems that I really want to turn in. So Zeratul just sitting there. My computer are, is still one that has a... Uh... Let me put it this way. I have some really weird issues where because my performance system is better, I have more trouble seeing Zeratul. And I know there's some StarCraft 2 updates for seeing uh, stealth units that I could install, so maybe we can do that. I'm saying Zeratul's harassing me up here, which is true, because I want to turn in my things and they're not letting it happen. I think that'll probably summon Brightwing to me as well, is there's Zeratul coming back around. And I do get off a combo, but unfortunately put myself in a terrible position. I'm very fortunate Brightwing came up right there. One thing I'm trying to work on a lot more as Kael'thas is just to not put myself in positions where I'm going to have people get pincered over there. I shouldn't have tried to engage from over here. I should have gone up here somewhere. But regardless, I still have my gems right now. Not doing a lot of turn-ins here. I do have my uh, Netherwind talent. So there we go. As our team is getting a few more kills. Well, actually, this is weird. Because they are... Uh, we have more deaths here, but we have much more takedowns. So this numbers are... They're just going to be a little bit reversed today, so don't rely on that too much. But we do have Brightwing 
trying to help me out here. 12 stack turn in for Lili is not fantastic. But once again, we have Zeratul who's going to be coming in. I do see him at least a few times in this match. Is they're doing a good job trying to go after me. I am super squishy right now, and I've whiffed with the gravity laps right there, which is not fantastic. But I do have Brightwing next to me. Brightwing still in the overpowered state. Brightwing, well, I don't want to say Brightwing's going to get nerfed on the PTR. I'll put another video about my experiences on the PTR or public test realm, at least at this point. But there are some significant changes for heroes, including Brightwing. And that is going to be... I haven't bought Brightwing yet. I've thought about buying Brightwing as we have Zeratul not quite dying. But once again, anything I can do to get them to uh, disengage while I don't die is nice here. I'm going to let Nova be the closer here. But here comes our Eggy Eggs. Like I said, the reason that uh, Tomb of the Spider Queen, not really my favorite, is I had to try and go a little bit too hard here. But fortunately, I knew Nova had me as backup here, and I did have a place to run. But overall, that wasn't very smart, because if they had focus-fired me like they should have, I would have died. So, team doing good in spite of my bad positioning and letting Zeratul just sneak up beside me yet again as they crowd up. Evo's in trouble, ETC's in trouble, they're all trying to disengage, but we summon these... Uh, Spiders up here were supposed to be okay. Murky still hatching from over here. So fortunately, because we were low on health, they were able to uh, do things. But we don't have... Here, Here's the thing, is that there haven't been a lot of kills. Yes, you kill Murky from time to time, but it doesn't count as very much. The bigger shebang is just that, first off, I, I derped a little bit by being indecisive for what lane I need to be in. And here I am going to the top now. We are going to get a little bit more experience from some towers and stuff that get taken out on this push, and here I am trying to at least get some stuff going as there's Zeratul down there, put a living bomb on him. He did take first aid, and Zeratul's another character that I'm trying to learn just a little bit more. We're all focusing on Muradin, but that's why the uh, deed gravity lapse is really nice, as we have one dead, but I was able to stun multiple people at once. There is Zeratul yet again, trying to stay away, trying to wait for me to uh, get out of position. And I'm doing my best to not get myself killed here as I see Zeratul trying to do a turn in and I debate, do I want to take him out? I do want to take him out. But he got the turn in in time. I did not need to let that happen. And I did. Like I said, it's uh, not great plays or anything as Brightwing teleports right next to me to get to me. Thank you for helping. I could have prevented this turn in just by attacking Zeratul ahead of time. It would have stopped the inevitable regardless. But still, if we look at everybody's stats right here. Zagara doing really nice in the early game. Of course, I'm pretty later lax on that as we do a quick pause right here just to look at the talent screen. I do have Fission Bomb. We do have a Nova who actually is going for a decent build. They don't all do that. We have Zagara with kind of a standard build. Brightwing with, uh, well, not entirely. I don't. I would always take in Venom or Arcane Precision, but Gust of Healing, very good talent. And then on the other side, we have a... Uh, Hunger Arrow style Vala. A pretty standard Muradin. Lili doing her thing. Zero tool. Like I said, this is kind of a just standard cleave build. You want to take the first aid if you can. And Murky. I wish I knew more about Murky. I missed out on Murky Free Week. So that's really too bad. So that's kind of where we are there. We have them pushing three right here on the top. The important thing is that we're at level 10 now, so we do get a level 10 talents. And of course I took Pyroblast, because Pyroblast is the best ever. No, do not take Pyroblast of Kael'thas. Just don't. Just seriously don't. So can we get a gank on Zeratul? No, he still has his blank up. As we have the desire to defend is real. We have three people pushing up top. This spider doobie's going to be taken care of okay as Murky is still pooping things out everywhere. And I am putting myself with a phoenix up here, not in the greatest position of all time as Murden's trying to go after me. But fortunately, great Nova. Nova, it's nice when your Nova actually kills things and understands when is a good time to engage. So she has, the thing is, is that she has high hero damage. We're going to have another pick off here from her longer range. But she doesn't have to have max hero damage because that means she's being smart and picking her fights. And that's really all I ask for for a lot of my major damage assassins. Are, are you going to pick your fights well or are you just going to sit and fight and fight and fight and fight for no good reason and try and buff your stats? So there's Zeratul yet again. And there's Vala just flying around with 20, 20 little gems. But getting a quick turn in for us. We're at level 10. This is a well, level 11 technically. This is a good time to engage as... 
Murky's trying to steal the Merc camp. Haha. -ha. That's not really going to happen. But here's our next engagement right here. They're level 10 too. There's the Void Prison that I managed to not fly in. And there's your Phoenix. As ETC does his state, not stage dive. Mosh Pit, which is a great combo with Phoenix. I love ETC as a tank. Because he will just stop things and let me do my AoE. It gets really strong later on with... Uh, Obviously all the goodness there. Nice aim by Nova, just barely missing. Quick juke by Murd and get that in. But we have we have our whole team down here. We managed to get the Merc camp down here. So overall looking pretty good. We got a nice sizable level advantage. We're snowballing and it's not even that uh, it's not even late in the game enough for me to start doing things like having massive damage and I'm still putting out pretty good damage. So I'm only hearthing to try and get some health or some mana here, which may not have been awesome because we were pushed out pretty far, but Zeratul's dead. Important thing is Zeratul dies and drops all kinds of gems that they're not necessarily going to pick up. Brightwing needs to get out of there. Great save by Zagara as well. So what do we got? We got ETC starting to go for the top here. Our team's starting to get an itchy trigger finger a little bit about do we take on the boss, do we take on the boss. Right now we do have one Burt camp and three people near it, so it's one of those things that eh, might as well take it. Now, if we look at the gem situation right now, Zagara has a lot of gems, but otherwise we don't have a, really enough to make a lot of waves. Right now, ETC doing the responsible thing, trying to get a little bit of experience, but more importantly, farm some gems. Zeratul sees him by himself and goes for the pickoff. This ETC throughout the game kind of tried to do his own thing a lot, and you have now Brightwing, who's just a hop away all the time. And here's another thing that I kind of want to look back on the replay here is that we have a Murky who is going to be uncontested for a long time. And this is what you'll see sometimes in Hero League where it's like, screw it, I know I'm supposed to be a good teammate, but sometimes the best thing you can do for your team is just to try and split push and do your own thing. I'm not saying it's the right move as we have a Murden that's down. I'm saying that's what people try and do. That's why you see so many Novas or Zeratul's pick, because people want to do the individual carry thing just by uh, trying to control... Or just by, okay, I'm a strong hero, I can control, but here we have the boss. And we have a four versus five. We have Nova just trying to, Nova in the lane, which is a thing, apparently. Here's the boss. Four of us are up there. The other team apparently does not have a read on where we are. Murky going after all of these towers, just completely ignoring, well, there we go. Murky still sort of ignoring what's going on here, but we have the boss. And now we have a boss pushing with a web weaver. That's about all you can ask for right now is Murky is still going after these towers. So once again, the split push is real. Sylvanas, not Sylvanas, Nova. Why, how, do you, how in the hell do you get them confused? Those are two totally different universes. But we do have a boss up here, and Murky finally deciding, okay, going after these towers is not enough. We still have pretty much a two-level advantage. That, you're dead. I'm sorry, Vala. C completely unnecessary maw there, which is unfortunate. But we are level 15, which means it's almost uh, Kael'thas time. And when I say it's almost Kael'thas time, as we do get Void Prisoned, it does stop us a little bit, but it's not going to really do a lot of damage or keep us from doing what we want to do right here. It's almost Kael'thas time because I'm going with the Flamethrower Living Bomb build. You'll see that I'm starting to just try and stay away really far as we do have uh, just all kinds of damage available. As here we go, good game. Pretty much we have a boss, it's only 12 minutes in. And here is the core just going. We have we have the whole team running and we have, it's your Vala, you're gonna be dead again. Vala silence, Vala melts. I'm getting Octagrab. This Murky, this Murky's smart. He knows to go after me at level 16 because uh, everything is really just big. But there we go. The core, the core is going, the core is going down. Well done, everyone, I say, because it was indeed well done. And here comes the rest of their team, and we're melting. There goes my uh, seven, down to seven. I don't have Phoenix up right now. I get zapped. Didn't have any of my cooldowns up. Down to 7 health on there, and Zagara is just running away. If Zagara had stuck around, this game would be over. If we had all just dived, Zagara's response, I want to play more. 
Now looking at the replay here, I can see why Zagara left, but that's very important situational awareness. She could have gotten that extra 3% damage that we needed on there, but I want to play more being the justification. Well, it's 18 kills to 5, don't mind the what the stat screen says here. We did lose our first really significant team fight, but that because we lost it is now Zagara is dead as well. They're catching up in levels by quite a bit. So they are down to three, but surely with a 100 to three core advantage, with now it's level 16 to level 16. This is a ball game once again. And I don't want to say necessarily that we have worse team fight, but considering that we do have a Nova versus Zeratul, we have me trying to get some flame strikes in here. We have Nova cornering herself just a little bit. Vala trying to do her thing. Val is dead. So that's great. And once again, just trying to get my flame strikes in here as I'm waiting for my cooldowns to go here. And another hit. Now, I'm level 17, so that does bode pretty well for the amount of damage I can do. But once again, Murky. Murky wants to give me hugs. Murky is coming in really hard, too. Like I said, you, you want... Okay, there's our uh, mosh pit. And people are going to start dying a little bit. Very poorly aimed flame strike, but my bigger goal was just to get the hell out is now we're starting to think about well can we actually get out of here there's a lot of shield apparently nova saying i have a skill that can break through the entire thing now if we look at their stats none of them took mule that i can see so it's not like that core is going to be healed up any more than what it is already so can we actually end this game right now with Nova out, without Nova not here? It's pretty much up to uh, the rest of the team to try and stick together. Keep the team occupied if Nova is in fact going to be able to solve this. It's not like Raynor who can break through the shields and do one thing. I'm scared of Zeratul. We have a Phoenix online, and that's not just going to be good education service, I guess. Not everyone dead. Three kills, so that's pretty good for me. There's Lili as well, and I should not have engaged. I should have gotten the hell out. I was like, haha, Lili, I can get you. I just killed three people and I just I just died. Now my killing streak or is not there before and what do you know? Nova died. That was a whole team wipe right there. And I'm not even sure exactly what happened because I was sitting there watching myself get killed. This is why I'm just talking about replays mainly focused on me right now. I do have some other replays that I've been looking for to try and go over and break down a little more slowly. And that's where I will have some of the overlays that talks about talents, that talks about other things. As we're talking about, what's our team talking about now here? We could get in a lot of snipping match because Zagara didn't need to disengage, could have dived for the core without too much difference and possibly gotten that last 3%, but instead... We're working together, trying to make this happen. But look who has a level lead now. Keep in mind, we had their core down to 3%, and they have a level lead. I want to play more of the words etched in my head. I'll put it this way. My current mind state for this is that I'm a little mad about it, but I'm not really tilt about it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Is I should not be engaging from this direction, but I really want to help my team. Once again, you can best help your team by not getting yourself killed, so that's why I run back and was like, okay, Brightwing, thank you for coming to me, but this is a decent pickoff place right here. I can flame strike from up here with pretty much impunity. But once again, I gotta watch out for the fact that they not only have a level lead, they're gonna get their level 20 talents first. And they have way less kills, but their kills are worth a lot more. So there is uh, Murky going for the siege camp as this is actually pretty well pushed from the split push before. We're on the verge of losing a core and we've got a massive team fight right here. Four versus four if Nova can get in here and make something happen. Once again, I'm just trying to stay back, wait for my right time to uh, flame strike. As once again, oh, there's a very nice heal. The, all the cups, how many of them? Probably a thousand or so. As I'm just trying to get my flame strikes in there to make things work and so far it's not working too well. How is my uh, talent going? I still have Phoenix up. And there's the Phoenix. Not the best Phoenix ever, but it does split the team up and force them to be on one side or the other. But once again, we have the Web Weavers up here. This is going to push for the core. So not only are they up in experience right now, it looks like we have pretty decent team fight, to be honest. And we should be able to take some of them down here. But I've got to not get greedy or anything with this. As our team's getting split up a little bit, I have to fight from the back. 
And unfortunately, Nova is going to get cleaved all to hell. Brightwing with the clutch heal as Zeratul goes down. And look at this, 18 minutes. Some of their heroes are down three or more. And as much as I think, okay, you know what? We can take the core. We can win. Three of their heroes won't be there for a while as I start to run up and around. Other people start to run up and around. ETC is all the way over here. ETC did not take stage dive. So we have two of our heroes over here. Three heroes up here. You want to go all in and have everybody here. There's no way these Siege Giants will be able to take out unless you have everybody over here. And look at this. Three people going in. I went in because I thought we had five. We definitely did not have five people. So there's the guard down. And this is just what I said before. Hero League doesn't necessarily mean better players. And that's where I am a true testament of that. Because I'm definitely not a better player other people but uh, Brightwing is doing her best to save you but the Octagrab is real and there is another just painful I want to play more and Zagara saying it's okay just play it straight you want to play more Zagara we've got we've got plenty more in there but like I said it is Kael'thas time I'm starting to do my thing but they are going to be able to get the boss fortunately we do have a keep up here which will slow down the advance a little bit but yeah this is this is going to get ugly here before long, they have a level. Adv they have an experience advantage. It's 20 minutes, and people are tr okay. Nova's trying to do something good here, just to try and stun them, make them work. But the boss, she comes just a touch too late. Etc. Trying to make it happen either, but Nova's dead. What? What did that really do? We didn't really stop anything, other than feeding them even more experience. So, fortunately, Etc. Can power slide out of here. Brightwing. What is it with bright wings I've been playing with lately? They're not they're not very positive. In fact, I've had some bright wings yell at me and say some not very happy things. Where if you play as bright wing, bright wing is all about the happiness and friendliness and playing with other people's entrails. So I don't know. Maybe it's because bright wing is pretty much in an overpowered state right now, and that attracts a certain kind of player. I don't know, but these guys are going to start pushing. We do have the mosh pit at just the right time, but Murky's coming for me. But I got a living bomb for him. Zagara gets octagrabbed. We've got a pretty much a good team fight, which is all we really need at this point. We need a stun on Lee Lee for all of that healing. We have ETC who can stun. Nova staying positive. That's that's half the freaking struggle in Hero League 2 is when you face adversity, is your team just gonna rage at each other and quit, or are you gonna be able to keep ahead about you? So there we go. We stopped the boss push. We managed to take out one unit, but not a lot. They are still going for uh, all kinds of goodies here, but we do have pretty much with the amount of gems that everybody has, we could summon some more spiders and that could be relevant. But at this point, we can push with some marks. We can try and do some fights. The boss is enough for a little while. We're not out of this yet, but really we shouldn't be even in this position now because it's uh, three, three core health that could have been zero core health, but... What can you do? That is that is 10 minutes ago, and now here we are. A level down and an experience bar down. Two keeps down to one keep. But Nova's right. All we need is one good team fight, and we have a Lili that's trying to run. Nova missing her skill shot, which is unfortunate. Zeratul going for a gank. That's a really strong first aid as well. And we're going to get a little bit of overcommitment from our team here to try and get Zeratul. But once again, the biggest part of this is that they're not playing as five, and we need to play as five people. As I'm trying to turn in my gems, I don't know really why. That doesn't seem like the most relevant thing to do. Because once again, we have to, we'd have to spend a lot of time farming gems just to take this in, and that may be better served as trying to do take advantage of a two versus five or three versus five, depending on what Murky does. So there's the cups again, and we really need to stun Lily. Anytime now, Brightwing's dead, our healer's gone. And here comes the Mosh Pit, everything else, the Phoenix, all kinds of damage all at once. But still, not, not as many kills as I'd like here. I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm feeling pretty good, and then I'm not paying attention to the situation. My healer's dead. I'm about to get murkied like hell. I say thank you, ETC, which actually I remember typing that a little bit sooner, because I thought I'd taken out more heroes of that, but that is me failing at the situational awareness. And yeah, I ran, I could have stayed back, and I didn't stay back. So that is not pro-level MLG uh, Kael'thas play at all. Fortunately, it is a 3 for 3. 
And all we've got to do is focus on trying to get the win here. So we have we have a Nova who can try and turn in. We have everyone else who's trying to turn in some gems. Zagara once again getting her wish. Getting to play more. We don't have stitches or that would work a lot better. But who plays stitches nowadays? That's really sad. Because stitches, stitches is such a fun hero. But here's the, here's the keep push as well. I didn't actually ignore Brightwing. And I say that I died because I whiffed on a gravity lapse, but that's not true. I died because I walked into the incoming team, which is just terrible situational awareness, especially when I can flame strike from all the way across the way. I have I have the highest hero damage, but we could have possibly salvaged the rest of that team fight if I hadn't gotten myself killed, but there's the Octagrab again. That is really painful for a lot of people, but Brightwing able to get a little bit of healing on. I try and remind people of the boss here. If we can push in with the boss, we will be able to take this game as here's the rest of our team trying to turn in some gems. I don't know if taking the boss is really the best here but we are even level 22 talents are done. Leroy wants to ambush them at the boss which is a pretty good strategy and one that I see kind of more and more here but Murky definitely looking for a, a kill on me. There's the Phoenix as we have no mosh pit right now. So that's me not quite using that to the best of my abilities here. So there's the Void Prison as well. I'm once again trying to stay the hell back. Another Hungering Maw. Our team is just starting to wax the opposition here, so that's pretty good. So there's another Flame Strike on Lili. It hits Lili so hard too. Poor Zagar getting Octagrabbed, but not enough. And there is almost a Team Wipe. Now the thing is is that, once again, if we go in with all of our heroes, we can take the core. But our team's already shown that they are not willing to go in there all at once, so... Murky trying to do this too. Brightwing just take the initiative saying, all Brightwing tank this. Murky getting Nova here. But what is one of the simplest plays in this game is ETC's trying to de-push instead of helping us once again, but... Hey, that's okay, we've gotten some good mosh pits from ETC, so I can't really complain. We have more people trying to kill us here. Murky doing his damnedest to steal the boss from us, but I've seen too many Reddit posts about what happens when somebody steals the boss with nobody standing on it. And now, what is the simplest play in Heroes of the Storm? Push with the boss. ETC riding his uh, card back up here. And one nice thing about it is that they have to focus on the boss. And I can just flame strike to my heart's content. And we do once again get Living Bomb on everybody here. Lily, I don't know if she took Cleanse or anything like it. We do have Herbal Cleanse. I don't know if that's the same thing, but Flame Strike once again. Actually managed to hit nobody with that. And we are going to have possibly a good Mosh Pit here in a second. As we All we got to do is get 3%. That's it. That's why I put the Phoenix there. So there's our Mosh Pit. There's everything else. There's all the damage in the world, and there's the core finally going down. Zagara, you got your wish, you got to play more, and that's the game. Whew. Not quite the game I expected. I did have more hero damage than maybe other people. And that's partially because of the talents that I took where I could have been over 100,000 for a game that lasted that long. But I didn't worry about gathering power stacks because I didn't have them. And I took healing stuff at the beginning, so I didn't have my healing globes to buff my mana to let me cast more spells by the end. But I lived more. Most of my deaths, well, pretty much all of my deaths in this game were either on me or the team splitting themselves up when we were trying to go to finish the game. But still, a long game. I hope maybe an entertaining game. At least a lesson for me. And you know what? A, a little bit of fun with Zagara because we could have finished it and we didn't. But hey, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Look out for me talking about some other games that don't necessarily involve me in the future, trying to break down some higher level play, both for enjoyment of just because it's fun to look at other people's games and not have the pressure of breaking down your own screw-ups. Plus, maybe we can all learn something in the process. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.